The Internet of Things refers to things that are connected to the internet. This can be anything from refrigerators, thermostats, toothbrushes. If you have something that's internet smart, it's a part of the Internet of Things. These gadgety things collect data about the way you use them and help you make lifestyle improvements along the way. For example, a web-connected tennis racket uses sensors within the racket itself to determine your swing and why you keep hitting a ball off the court. Some household items are already web-connected. For example, Samsung has an internet-connected refrigerator which tweets and streams music directly from Pandora. There's also the Nest thermostat, which Google recently bought for $3.2 billion. The Nest learns your preferences and can cool or warm your house based on your habits all automatically. Eventually, these objects will all work together and create what people are calling a smart home. However, there are some challenges in having a fully connected life, and experts don't really think the Internet of Things is going to take off until far into the future. For instance, your Samsung refrigerator can't talk to your Sony TV because each company is working on their own technology that isn't compatible with other companies' technology. There are also concerns with security and privacy, like who owns your data? And what if hackers infiltrate your home? Could your house get a virus? Ah! As major companies like Apple and Google become more interested in this type of technology, there's no question that the Internet of Things is going to become even bigger very soon. For more information on Smart Home and the Internet of Things, check out Mashable's coverage. And be sure to watch the other videos in the Mashable Explained series too.